Hey guys, welcome back. This is the first video in a series about vacuum casting. The goal is to be able to cast brass, bronze, aluminum, or gold from 3D printed parts in my home shop. Before we get too deep, let's go over our basic process flow of vacuum casting from 3D printed parts. You need a resin printer, which can print a wax or castable resin. In my case, the Form 2 from Formlabs. You then print your model and cast it in an investment plaster in a flask. After the model is cast in the plaster, you need to degas the plaster, meaning to take the air out of it. For that, you use this dual purpose degassing and vacuum casting chamber. You place the flask in the top portion of the vacuum chamber and remove the air. Once the plaster has some time to set up, it goes into the burnout oven and follows the burnout schedule of the material to convert the wax or resin to smoke and leave us with a negative of our model in the plaster. After the burnout cycle is complete, you now need to bring the flask to casting temperature. After the flask is at casting temperature, it goes into the vacuum casting machine. We then pull a vacuum on the bottom side of the flask through the plastic. In parallel, you need to be melting your metal in a second, less sophisticated oven. Once the flask is ready, vacuum pump is on and the metal is liquid, go ahead and pour it into the mold. The vacuum will help the metal flow to all the tiny details of your model and ensure no porosity in your casting. Now, let's jump into today's build. We need to build the vacuum casting machine, and it needs to serve two purposes. One, to degas the plaster once it's poured into the flask, and two, to pull a vacuum through the flask once it's ready for casting. All right, guys, check it out. This is the main body of the vacuum casting machine. This is the flask. I made this guy yesterday. Get this also cut to length because it's a little bit too long. All right, so I got the bottom plate turned and cut out and turned right. In order to turn it, I welded this little hex bar onto it here, then went ahead and turned the outside diameter, cut it off, nicked it a bit with the grinder, but whatever, that's going on the inside. And then that, I machined the little edge in here that's gonna sit up in there, like that. Then I need to weld it. And the next order of business, we have to connect this hose here to the vacuum pump over there. And I'm gonna do that with this fitting for the hose, this little 3 8 NPT thread extension guy and I'm going to turn from this a piece that interfaces with that
So this is the first time I'm starting it up and connecting it to vacuum. I was standing to the side a bit because I was scared of the plexiglass tube fucking off, but alas, here we are. 5mm wall thickness and a 10mm top. I glued the two pieces together with some kind of plexiglass adhesive, it seems to hold just fine. The pump, the pump manages around 20mm of mercury or minus 0.7 bar of vacuum. It's not a perfect vacuum, but I think this is due to the pump and not so much due to some leaks somewhere. I did spray around with some oil and it didn't seem to change the vacuum at all. When you have a plexiglass tube on it, you can degas flasks or your mixed investment in the top part of the machine. And the second function is to remove the plexiglass tube and drop the flask into the bottom portion. The flask would obviously be invested at this point and you would be pulling a vacuum on the bottom side of the flask through the plaster. In the next part of the series I'll be working on the oven needed to melt the metal. And hopefully we can cast something pretty soon. Till next time, ciao! -y.